All right, guys, let's get into Sunday night football. <laughs> the Washington football team is going into Philly, into the Lincoln Financial Field, and they are going to play the Eagles. Okay, Washington is favored by two points right now on Wednesday, and the point total is set at 43 and a half. A Washington. They could have made things a lot more comfortable by beating the Panthers, but I digress. They lost 23-13, and since then, a lot of distractions, I think, over there in D.C. I mean, Dwayne Haskins, right, 15th overall draft pick not that long ago. He gets completely cut. They wave him, uh, rid their hands of him. Now, we don't know if Alex Smith is going to be back to play in this game against the Eagles, but Riverboat Ron, he did say that he is hopeful he will return. If not, we will see Taylor Heineke play. Uh, the Eagles, they lost to the Cowboys, but their uh, their banged up secondary got ran all over. CeeDee Lamb, he had a hell of a day. Jalen Hurts kind of brought back down to earth a little bit, right? He threw two interceptions. Jeff, if DC can win this game, they are in the playoffs. If they don't, the winner of the Giants-Cowboys game will go on into the postseason. Can DC get it done in Philly? Well, I think the amazing thing about this, OJ, is, you know, the NFC East has four of the most iconic NFL franchises, some of the oldest, deepest rivalries, most passionate fan bases. And when this game kicks off at 8.20 p.m., whether they're Giants fans if the Giants win or – uh, Cowboy fans, if the Cowboys win, they're going to be pulling for the Eagles as big as you can bet. And can you imagine Cowboy fans having to pull for the Eagles? I mean, that's almost yeah. like, you, you know, that's like sacrilegious. But I just really think that Washington is a better football team. Uh, Philadelphia is a little beat up. Jalen Hurts has given them some, you know, some juice in the last few weeks, you know, uh, Deshaun Jackson scored his first touchdown, seems like, in forever. You know, they have some positive things going on. Doug Peterson, you know, is under fire. This would be a big-time win for him. But all in all, I look at the two football teams, and as long as Washington doesn't turn it over, they can run the ball, they play great defense. This is a Ron Rivera type of team. And I think when 10 o'clock rolls around on Sunday evening that they will be the NFC East champions. Yeah, this Washington defense is is very good, and it is a tall ask for somebody to ask Jalen Hurts, who's very new in this league, to go in there and and go up against that defense. He's going to be under pressure. Um, Philly's offensive line, you know, they can be pretty bad at times. So I do think that DC wins this game. Um, and because the, the spread is so low, it's only at two points. I guess I'm taking Washington to cover it. I do think it's going to be a close game, though. Um, and, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, I'm, still, I'm still hung up on the idea of, like, Cowboys fan rooting for Eagles because I've been to a game. Uh, it was actually Sunday Night Football last year in, the, in Lincoln Financial in Philly, and Dallas Cowboys were playing them, and that is one of the craziest NFL settings I've ever sat in. I mean, the rivalry, the hate between these two fans is real. It is crazy. I saw like three fights. One of them happened right next to me. Uh, these people are crazy. We know Philly's crazy, but uh, man, that's funny. Um, but yeah, I feel much more confident about DC winning this game with Alex Smith than I do Taylor Heineke, just because I don't really know that much about him. I don't really remember the last time I saw him get a start. I feel like it's been a while. So I, yeah, I yeah, but DC's winning this game for sure. Now, how do you feel about the point total, real quick? It's pretty low. It's at forty three and a half. What do you think? Well, I don't know. Forty three and a half is really low. I mean, yeah. Um, and you know, you think about it, and you look at that Eagle defense, and you know, they gave up thirty seven points last week to Dallas. Now, I don't think Washington's as dynamic as Dallas is offensively, but I do think they can score some points. And then Philadelphia only scored seventeen against the defense that we've been talking about for months is how bad they are. And Washington certainly is better than that. Um, I, you know, oh, this is where I'm going to, I have to kind of give it to you and you tell me, cause I don't really have a, I don't really, I can't get a beat on it. 
Yeah, I'm taking the over. It's it's incredibly low. And okay, I'm taking the over if Alex Smith plays. Okay. Can I throw in that caveat? Can the record state I'm taking the over if Alex Smith plays? I know that he's going to take care of the ball. I do believe that it it'll easily go over. Now, if Heineke plays, I don't touch it. But if Heineke plays, I guess for the record, I will say take the under. So let me just leave it at that. 2020 is a weird year, and week 17 is certainly weird. So these are some risky bets that we're making here. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. What do you think about that? I I, I think that's really smart that you you know that you hedge it in that way because I, I just mm-hmm. there's so much that has to play into it, and that's such a low number that um, you know I, I agree with you 100. percent Wait until late in the week before you play it because we got to know whether Alex Smith's going to play. Him. Exactly. There you go. So there you have it, guys. Uh, Eagles, D.C. showdown, playoff implications on the line here and future jobs on the line as well, especially in in Philadelphia. So let us know in the comments below what you think. Not our jobs. No, we're good. We're handling our business. Unlike Carson Wentz, who had every opportunity in the world to get it done this year. I got to talk to Ben. What more does he want? Holy man. (laughs) Your soul. No. um, Yeah. (laughs) There we have it, though. DC Eagles, let us know what's up in the comments below. What you think?